Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and this is Ollie. Ollie is a four-year-old squirrel monkey. And on this channel, we share our journey of raising Ollie from infancy into adulthood. Ollie is a rescued squirrel monkey. Today's video, I'm going to answer another one of your guys' questions, and that is how much does it cost to own a primate? So I've got my list right here. I'm kind of keeping it to the side because Ollie really likes to rip paper up. <laughs> so I don't want him to rip it up before I read it off. Um, I will also try to put on the side here the tally of things that I'm talking about all. That way you can also get kind of a guesstimate at the end. And before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And leave me a comment below if there is a question that you would like for us to make a video on, um, anything about monkeys or specifically squirrel monkeys. Luke and I go through all of the comments and try to answer as many as we can every video, but there are some that we get asked regularly that we would like to start making videos on to answer those. Are you ready, Allie? So first and foremost, I do want to throw out the disclaimer. Um, Luke and I do not promote or advertise the sale of primates. Um, Ollie is a rescue. We did not purchase him. So if you are looking to purchase a monkey, I have no idea what the cost would be. I have no idea who you would contact. Um, so if that's one of your questions, I have no answers for that one. <laughs> so putting that big chunk, I'm sure it is, um, aside from the cost. Ow. The next big purchase that needs to be made for a monkey is obviously their main enclosure. Um, the enclosure, I'm using numbers of what Luke and I have spent, and um, I'm sure with inflation, prices of these types of items have gone up even more. So also keep that in mind. But the very first big purchase that you're gonna need to make is the main enclosure. Um, Ali at the moment has two big main enclosures. Um, there's one that he particularly favors over the other. Um, the other one, he just feels like it's too spatially big for him and um, at the moment, so that is one that we will be transitioning him into. Get your tail out of my face, silly monk. <laughs> we will be transitioning him into the bigger one as he grows into adulthood. So his first enclosure is, we purchased that for about $389 um, and that came through a pet company, it is considered a bird cage, um, but it was the biggest one from the floor to the ceiling that we could find because squirrel monkeys like to generally be up top. So we wanted something that was as tall as possible for him to be in. And so that one came in a box and I had to put it all together. There is a video on this channel of Luke and I putting that enclosure together. Um, the second enclosure that he has, that one is, like I said, much bigger. It is a, I want to say five by five by five, at least. And um, that is, that one was over $600 when we purchased it two years ago. So that is a pretty big expense um, to start off the bat. You will also need some sort of a travel cage um, for the monkey to take them to and from the vet or if you plan to take them um, out and about or if there's an emergency and you need to take your primate with you. We always leave it right next to his main enclosure so that way if there's a fire or we need to evacuate we can always just grab him out, put him in the enclosure and take the cage with us and go. So that is also another expense. The next thing that you have to purchase is obviously food. Um, when they are an infant, they are on baby formula and other supplements for vitamin D. So baby formula, when we were purchasing it, um, Ollie used the Similac version um, of Sensitive Stomach with added DHA. And that one ran about 20 to $25 a month for us. Um, obviously, as he got older, he kind of weaned off of that and switched to more fruits and vegetables. Um, that is also, if once your monkey does get older, you also have to factor in the price of fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, it's not cheap, that is for sure. Either way, you're gonna spend about 30 to $50 a month on food just for your primate. 
Squirrel monkeys particularly like to throw their food to the ground. They are very wasteful, so you are probably going to spend more money on their food than other species. The next thing is syringes. So if you are syringes or bottles, I guess. Um, Ollie just always preferred syringes, so that's what I have numbers for. We would always buy them off of Amazon in the big 100 pack. We use a fresh syringe every single feed. I cannot stress that enough. Um, it is very dangerous for the primate if you get the syringe stuck and um, all of a sudden a whole bunch of formula comes out that can aspirate them. Um, so we never wanted to risk that and we always just used a fresh syringe. It always was clean. We didn't have to worry about that. They come in their own little sealed packet. Um, so that was something we always did. I would do the same thing if Ollie preferred the bottle. We would do that as well. We would always wash the bottle and the nipple in between each feed. And feed cycles depends on the age of your monkey. Um, Ollie, when we first got him, he was fed every two hours around the clock, 24-7. Um, so that's a lot of syringes. So back when we first got him, we spent a little bit more on syringes than what we did as he got older and his feed cycles became a little less and we could buy the bigger syringes, the 10 milliliter versus the little 1cc um, syringes. So keeping that in mind also, I have totaled up for about 20 to $30 a month for syringes. Um, that was probably at our mid, mid two, two and a half years old. So yeah, he wasn't eating every single two hours. Um, so. Yes. The next thing you will need is blankets. Um, we go through a ton of blankets. The best time to get blankets is at Walmart when about this time of year, actually, um, about August, September time frame, when they have the $5 bin of the little fleece blankets. Those are the best ones we've found. Um, they're the ones that Ollie prefers. They keep him warm enough and they also absorb any urine that is in the enclosure. Um, they wash up pretty easily. so. Every two to three days, his enclosures get cleaned, and so that's a lot of laundry. <laughs> um, you also have to factor in laundry expenses if you are somebody that has to use the um, facilities for washing. It is not going to be very cost effective for you, and um, let me tell you, you are not going to want to sit with um, monkey urine sitting around to just do once a month or something like that. It just it's too stinky for that. So as soon as they are. <laughs> Um, as soon as his enclosure is cleaned out and fresh blankets are down, the dirty ones go into the wash right away. Um, and I do personally have to do two to three cycles um, per load of Ollie's stuff now that he's getting older. Um, like I said, they throw their food around a lot, so it really stinks. There's a lot of mess to it. Um, but in order to keep his environment clean and happy and neat and keep my house smelling fresh, um, that stuff does have to get done very frequently. Um, so for blankets, about $20 um, a month because then when they come in season during this time of month, we spend about $100 to $200 just on blankets to stock up for the rest of the year. Um, Ollie does like to tear holes in them and stuff, so, and at some point they just gotta go, so. Okay, the next thing I have wrote down is diapers. This is gonna depend on the individual, it's gonna depend on the primate, whether or not you want to use disposable diapers with diaper covers, or if you go the option like how we have with Ollie, Ollie is in a completely um, cloth diaper, 100% reusable, washable. It does also have his lead hook on the diaper already sewn in and a buckle, so we don't have to worry about purchasing an extra lead buckle that goes around their belly. A belly band is what they call them. Um, something like what Monkey Boo uses. Ollie does not use that. Um, and so for us personally, they are especially handmade um, by a local seamstress. And so we probably get a little bit better of a deal than what you would find online um, if you're just generally looking for a monkey diaper. Um, they are $25 each and um, they are made specific to his measurements. And every three months he grows and we have to purchase more. So. That is a pretty hefty price cost that we have to factor in. Um, about $150 every three months we have to spend on new diapers. And that is if Ollie doesn't damage one or something like that and we have to order sooner. Huh, little monk. Yeah. So the more he grows, the more, the more expensive he gets, it seems like. 
Okay, the next thing I have wrote down is toys and enrichment. Um, thanks to our viewers, a lot of Ollie's playroom has been um, donated or you guys have sent Ollie stuff and that's how we have put together this whole room for him. Um, so thank you to our subscribers for doing that. Um, that has really helped us out a ton as well. I have budgeted about $80 to $100 every month for new toys, enrichment ideas, um, things that Ollie can rip up or eat, like the little bug box videos that we do. Those are like seven or eight dollars per box. Those he really likes to do. So we try to factor that in as well every couple of weeks um, for him to do that. Huh, monkey? He's just sitting up here scratching his legs. Uh, let's see. Also on the toys, we do get a lot of toys. Um, we use a lot of bird toys that is specific for Ollie. Um, if you have a capuchin or another type of monkey, they're going to obviously need more durable toys. Something that they can't destroy or if they do destroy it, it is not going to harm them. Um, that is very important to be mindful of what toys you are picking for your primate. And the last, probably the biggest thing, um, the best for last, I guess is the vet. Um, if you don't know, monkeys cannot just go to a regular vet. Uh, they cannot go to the same one that you take your dog or your cat to. Primates have a specialized vet and they seem to be far and few in between. We got kind of lucky that we aren't too, too far. A specialized primate vet. Um, we're about 40 minutes from the nearest one. So, when we do have to go, um, they get regular shots just like your cat or your dog does. Um, when we do have to go, we have to also factor in travel. Um, with the gas prices right now, I have no idea how much it would cost us. Um, so a specialized vet visit for Ollie, um, generally just regular shots is going to be any, anywhere from three to four hundred dollars and that is going to depend on the age of your monkey um, because when Ollie was younger, he was okay to just be held um, with leather gloves while he was getting shots. I will link that video also up here for you to see um, of when Ollie was just smaller. And then as he gets older, the vet that we personally see does prefer that he puts the primate under anesthesia so that way he can handle and make sure everything's okay with the primate. Um, primates are very particular with their human and so if you are only seeing a vet once every couple months or twice a year um, whatever plan your primate is on they're not going to be comfortable with that vet like how Ollie lets me touch his feet and stuff he would not probably do that for anybody else so that is also important for you to factor in and that can be anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars to put them to sleep um, depending on the amount of time that they need to do it. So you're looking at probably, you're looking at a good four or five hundred dollars easily just for regular vet visits. Um, and that is not including if Ollie got hurt and broke his leg and he needed to go to the emergency vet, that would clearly go way into the sky into the thousands. So what Luke and I do is we budget every month a couple hundred dollars and set it to the side just in case something like that does happen for Ollie and we do have to take him to the emergency vet um, because that is something that could happen at some point and we just want to be prepared for that because it is a very large expense. So if we go through and we kind of total this all up very roughly, um, you're looking at about $2,000 to $2,500 and some of that is going to be a monthly cost um, like the formula the syringes, the food, the diapers, the blankets, that's going to be something that depends on if you buy monthly or if you buy in bulk, that is all going to depend on you, but it is a very expensive pet to have, essentially. But you're worth every penny, right? Yeah, okay. So I hope that's answered your questions. It is very expensive to own a primate. I hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. If you've got a question, leave it down below for me.